Yes, you want some, uh, some yourself some on it. That's understandable, I guess.
Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to the workshop stage. Thank you for joining us again. We are here to present our next segment here at the workshop stage. Our roots are showing. With us, we have Tempest, Sawyer Fredericks, we've got Adam Ezra, and the Falcon Ridge House Band. So without further ado, our roots are showing. Thank you very much, and thank you uh, to uh, Lady Claro for sponsoring the workshop. We're going to do a little bit of a, a tune here that was inspired by the Irish roots in the band. It's, it's based on a, on a jig, but it also shows the American rock and roll roots. It's a tune that we wrote in September, so we call this September Jig. Take it away. Here we go, boys.
Hi. 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 Well, I'm, my name is Adam Ezra, and, uh, and uh, my band is called the Adam Ezra Group, and the rest of my gang is setting up over on the main stage where we're going to be in a little bit. So this is called Your Roots Are Show, and that's the name of the set, so I think this, this, uh, this first song that I'm going to play y'all is going to address what I consider to be the root of the problem. Which, uh, which these days... Uh, in my opinion, stems from the fact uh, that it's becoming increasingly harder and harder uh, in this country to find out uh, and figure out who's, who's telling the truth uh, these days. It's a song called Scandal. Johnny. He sent a letter to the Globe, said the governor's headed again. Said I saw him twice last week with his girl Monique, while his wife said the doc's getting thin. He's in league with the mob, kickbacks every job, got him all out in charge of the dig. And his drug cartel, it's shut the well, runs it all through the priests and the pigs. And if you don't print my story, I'll go somewhere else But all of the things I saw. For new scene, they live in our hopes and her dreams. She sent her right down to print for a whole name glimpse, so they ain't do his bloodshot eyes. He called Joe from the canoes and pissed in his shoes and sent her out over the wires. By four o'clock that afternoon, everybody had a flapping jaw. Cause it's a on 
for this fall. up here on stage. This is fun. We're going to have a lot of fun. So, um, <clears throat> as a uh, American-born individual with a Welsh background um, and some other different roots in there, I think some German and some all kinds of stuff, you know, some French and Irish, but what I like to identify with the Welsh the most. Um, it's a melodic people and uh, this is a tune that I wrote, two tunes, I'll play two tunes for you that I wrote some time ago. And uh, I studied Irish music for a long time and these guys kind of inspired some me to dust this one off and play it for you. Um, and uh, the first is called The Black Stone, which is actually after an H.P. Lovecraft uh, short story. And, uh, <laughs> and the second one is called The Giant's Causeway. Um, and though I've never actually been there, I'm kind of uh, entranced with its mythology. And it also incorporates the segues from a sort of more traditional number into a tune that I go a little crazy with and diverge from the traditional forms and work in some of my own Americanized uh, fiddle stuff in here. So here we go, the Black Stone and the Giant's Causeway. Thank you. 
mindset through my life. Anyway.
Good one, so. All right. It's a beautiful day with sun and everything, huh? You got? Do you have anybody out there with Scottish roots? Yes, yes. How many Scottish roots do we have? Forty-four. Very good. We're gonna do a song from the Jacobite Rebellion in Scotland. This one is called "You Jacobites by Name." Jacobites by name, London here, London here, you Jacobites by name, London here, you Jacobites by name, your faults I will proclaim, your doctrines I must pray, you shall hear, you shall hear, your doctrines I must pray, you shall hear. What is Now, 
Man, I love that song. All right, well, uh, <laughs> I tend to not uh, usually have a plan when I get on the stage. And uh, I was walking here towards the stage, and somebody saw me, and they, they said, uh, they asked if, if, if I'd play this next song. Uh, so I'm going to play this next song for them. This is the root set, so I'm going to label this uh, falling under the category the root, uh, one of the roots of my issue. <laughs> I like to write songs, uh, I like to take, uh, you know, the most embarrassing things in my life, the things I'm ashamed of, my failures, and I like to write songs about them and serve them up for public consumption and it makes me feel better about myself so for some reason I haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> I was aware my whole life that there was a history of, uh, of, of depression and anxiety in my family, my whole life. Uh, and I had thought that it skipped my generation. And I found out not too long ago the hard way that it did not skip my generation it was a scary thing for me. And, uh, and the way that I deal with it is I write about it and I share it. So this is a song, uh, it's a song called Sprig. <laughs> Yeah. 
Let's get up here. Boston's Adam Ezra, everybody. And boy, you know it's a real folk festival when you get uh, the Jacobite song with twin guitarmony. Boy, that, that this is this is really a really such a cool mix, and I'm kind of reminded about the theme of this of my roots are showing. It's kind of a very uh, esoteric, open-ended uh, category of, of songs that could fit in that. And folk music itself has it really generated from so many different backgrounds. And if you go to Irish music, you'll find the bagpipes, or, or Scotland, the bagpipes came through, I believe, the silk trade. Um, and it was a, 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 a Pakistani instrument, initially, the, the original pipes. Um, so, you know, it was trying to find influences from different genres of music and say one is what and what's another. Kind of gets blurry. So, a gentleman who certainly brings his own influences from around the world and beyond, a man who needs no introduction, my, my folk brother, Mr. Radislav Yarkovic. Thank you, thank you so much. You know, I'm always, I'm a root-seeking creature. I, uh, when I see a root, I just reach out and try to connect to it. I, I, I look for them, I look for them in the fields, and I try to like just... <laughs> And, uh, but I can't deny my own actual roots, and I wrote this song um, several years ago, but then my mom says, oh, that sounds just like one of those old Croatian Dalmatian songs. And I thought, really? And then I went to Dalmatian, I thought, yeah, they all pretty much sound exactly like that. Like they happened yesterday. I used to listen to the radio. I really didn't want to do much more. But when I knew it wouldn't get me far, I'd still listen anyway. My baby's working in a Mexican cafe. Somewhere down San Diego. Yeah, that's what I hear people say well, Up here in America My baby's working in a Mexican cafe I know that there's no way she's gonna stay
Let's not give up. People tell me I'll never give up. They say I gotta try and be a star. I always seem to stay. Now the people come and people go. I still listen to the radio. Hoping someday I'll have something to show. Maybe something more to say
How about another love song, eh? Yeah. yeah, if you go to the roots of the human condition, you find love, right? Yeah. yeah. You with me on this? Yeah. Okay. This is one called Heather on the Moor. Oh, 
Well, man, I have to tell y'all uh, that I've been hearing about Falcon Ridge for many, many years, and it's such an honor to finally be here hanging out with you. And I know these guys standing around me right now sound so great. It's my, you might think that they are my band, but they, they're just they're they're picking this up first time through. My band's actually sitting up on the stage next door. I gotta run over as soon as we finish up here. So, um, one of the things that inspires me the most about this festival, about the reputation um, of this place, is uh, is the dedication to community, uh, community through music, which I think uh, is the most powerful thing that is going to shape our culture and. Uh, our world these days. So uh, I got I write a lot of oh, thank you. I write a lot of songs and I'm real excited to share a whole ton of them with you. But I think I'm gonna play a song that I did not write because I'd rather. Uh, I think we'll probably this is probably gonna be my my last chance to kind of to be a lead singer in this little in this little ensemble that we're doing here. And I just thought I'd. It might be nice to do something that we all could sing together, and maybe you all on the stage, if you know it, if you felt like Joan and I, I'd be, I'd be really excited about that. Uh, also, I come from Boston. Uh, whoa! Yeah! Don't expect that kind of applause in New York, anywhere you go. You're on the border. It's the border. It's gray area. Okay, I got you. We're all folkies, everyone just loves each other, no one watches sports anyway, so that's what happens. There's a guy over there who's like, I watch sports and the Yankees are a lot better. I know, I know. One of the cool things about being a musician from Boston is it's a relatively small town and 
Uh, a lot of us musicians around there kind of know each other, and some of my uh, musician buddies from uh, from my hometown are here. I just thought maybe we just I just call them up on a stage, and embarrass them a little bit. Can you, yeah. Jackie Jackie Damsky, everybody? Do you have your axe? You got it. And Jake Bush, come where where you got you got your recording? There you go. Okay, let's not let's not kid each other. No one knows what's about to happen here. All right, <laughs> least of all me. Let's play the I'd be pretty excited if you felt like singing along with me.
set for you guys. Thanks again.